Hello YouTube, my name is Jason and this is Line Where Today I am going to teach you real quick about the constructors and generics and then we'll go on into bounded type parameters and generics. So let's go ahead and begin with the constructor. Um, with a constructor, you basically you create it the same way you would do a constructor on any other time. So let's go ahead and do something. Let's go ahead and create another class. And we'll call this class Junkie or something. I don't know what I want to call it yet. And we'll just say class Junkie. And there we go. Now we just want to go ahead and create the uh, generic... Uh, constructor which I showed you in the last video how to where to put the generic at on the constructor but I didn't show you how the different ways you can implement it so let's go ahead and do that and what we want to do is we want to go ahead and give our constructor a value and then we want to just say the name of it which is junkie because it's a constructor it shares the same name as the boss constructor and as you can see, and also another thing I want to show you is that the constructor does not have to have the same generic type. You can actually give this one type of generic and the constructor another type. And the constructor will have its own generic type to itself for whenever you call it. And this will just uh, have its own. And let me go ahead and I'll show you how to implement this. So let's go ahead and... I just, no, we're not going to print anything out on the screen. I just want to show you a real quick way of doing this. And um, what we can do is we do just like we would do any of the other ones. And what we want to do is junkie. And, of course, we want to give it its parameter. And we can say something like integer. And now our parameter has integer. And we can just say object1, like I always do. And just say new and then we just say junkie and of course we need the diamond and that now this is only going to call the integer because we're not passing anything into junkie so what we need to do is we need to go ahead and give something to pass into junkie so now we have to actually pass something into it and what we can do with it is we can put the double quotes like that and I know at first, you're probably thinking, eh, what does that do? Well, if you remember, the double quotes means it's a string. And the reason we're not getting any errors is because it's a string that we're passing into it. And that string value that we allocated into this parameter right here goes to the T. It doesn't go to the U. This integer goes to U. So now all we can do is pass integers into U and we can only pass uh, strings into this and if you want to uh, just not confuse future programmers or anything you can actually come over here and you can just write string right here on the outside of junkie well it looks like I found something that um, Java uh, well, Eclipse hasn't implemented yet, so, well, in future, whenever they do actually implement it, you can actually allocate the string value into it right there, but you don't have to do that. You can just put whatever values you want in right here, and it'll pass that value over to here. So, just in case you were wondering. So, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to delete that since it's not compatible with this version of Eclipse. And let's go ahead and we can do an extends now. So the way the extends works, if we want to give, not well, it's extends, but what they call it is they call it bounded type parameters. And bounded type parameters, you write where you're creating your uh, your generic not where you're passing a value to it. So you'll just come right over here and you can say something like T and then you can say extends and then you can pick some class that it can extend. You can say object if you just want it to be anything from the object class 
but you don't want to go so far as to do that. You can do number, and then it would be anything in like doubles or anything like that. And if you notice, it's getting this error right here because this right here does not cover number. Now, if we just transform it to string, we shouldn't get any errors. And the errors are gone because now it extends string. And that's how it works. It means it can take this t can hold any value so long as it comes from that class and that's what that extends means and one of the good things about this is if say you create another class and let's call this one um bumpkin or something i don't know and now we can actually have it where it also extends um this bumpkin so we can do bumpkin and you just go ahead and you put this and right here and then you can do something like number but this right here actually has to be a interface so if we wanted to go ahead and just create an interface um, we could do that so let's go ahead and create an interface and we'll call this in lucky so now we have this interface created and we can just come over here and change number to lucky and oh I capitalized it that's what's not getting the error and now it has to also uh, work with lucky so as you can see it's getting all kinds of errors over here but that's because it's being a little crazy and it doesn't help anything from bumpkin so it's basically saying it, you could put anything in here so long as it follows these guidelines. And just like whenever you're implementing or extending a class, you can only use one class and as many interfaces as you want to use. So if we wanted to create another interface and call this in that right there, and we'll just copy that. and you wanted to go ahead and put this over here you just put another and sign right here and then you would have that and now this has to implement uh, one of these things from all of that but you don't want it to be all bundled up and garbage like that because well it's garbage you just if you're gonna do that do it right and do something like extends string and you do this in case you want to be a little more strict whenever they're creating the items and that's the reason you would want to do that so now let's go ahead and let's delete this stuff right here because we're not going to use this stuff anymore and yeah I guess we could use extends string I just want to show you something real quick and what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and we're going to print this stuff out. So we're going to go ahead and we'll d go ahead and delete this. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and create a new item. And let's go ahead and delete that right there because that's giving us an error. So we're just going to create a simple little program. We'll say private. And the reason I'm using private is because you always want to have the strictest guidelines whenever you're creating your fields. So it's going to be you, or you, yep, private you, you, okay. And then we just want to go ahead and give this its, uh, its setters and getters. So now we're getting these setters and getters. We'll just go ahead and we'll create these. So now we have our setters and our getters. And that's pretty much we're done with that class for the most part. Except for we do want to go ahead and we'll go ahead and print something else out of it. And let's go ahead and do that. We'll just give it one little more uh, parameter. And we'll say uh public um and we'll say you extends string just because we wanted to have that guideline of string 
Yep. Number. Uh, I don't want to do the number. Um, void, because we don't want to pass anything to it. And let's go ahead and we'll do a uh, crunch. Just because I want to do something unique. Something that will stay in your mind. And we want to pass a U inside of it. And now all we got to do is close it off. Not close with that, but with this. And we want to give it a couple print lines. So let's go ahead and do a system.out.print line. And on this one, we're just going to go ahead and we'll print out. Let's print out you. Well, you dot. And we'll print out the get class of it. Cause just because I want to see what class it prints out. And we'll be done with that one. And on the next one, we're going to print out. Let's see. Actually, this needs to have a different guideline. So we'll just change this to T. And we'll change this one to T. And it doesn't change anything but just the element that it comes from. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and we'll print out the other one as well. Dot out dot print. And we're going to print out you. Uh, we'll print out this dot you. And then we'll just print out the get class of it. And if you remember, we're printing out the this dot you. So, just in case you were wondering, now we just want to go right back up here to this, and we want to go ahead and we want to uh, pass a value into it. So let's go object object one dot, and we want to say set set you. And we got to pass some value into it. So we'll go ahead and we'll p pass a string into it. So there, that's good. And as you can see, we're getting an error. Well, we're getting an error because of this guideline right here, which was an integer. So if we want to do that, we actually have to change this into an integer. So let's go ahead and do dog. Uh, well, dog will work. No, it won't. Um, we'll do something like that. That'll be fine. And the next one, we just want to print out some text. So, integer, not integer, object one dot um, crunch. And this one, we want to pass a string into it. So, let's go ahead and do that. And we'll say some bum or whatever some bub and there we go now we have this little code that we've created and we have this string that was its parameter and if we take this off and try to put a number right here we'll get an error and the reason we're getting an error is because with our extends we made it where it could only take in string values or something of a string type so and when we print this out on the screen We get a uh, class Java Lang string, class Java Lang integer, and it's just telling us what types these are. And that's pretty much all I'm going to go over in this tutorial. Thank you for watching. My name is Jason. This was Lineware. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a great day. Bow till